Students always remember, in a balance sheet on the asset side, we first write the intangible assets, then the fixed assets, then the investments, and in the end, the current assets. Therefore, after machinery, we leave a few lines for investment and its adjustments, and then below that, we write sundry debtors. The next item is investments, rupees 10,000. It is an asset. It will go to balance sheet, assets side, as investment, rupees 10,000. In the inner column, since there is a star mark against it, and we leave a line after it, writing plus in it. The next item is cash in hand, rupees 3,300. It is an asset. It will go to balance sheet, assets side, as cash in hand, rupees 3,300. It will go in the outer column. The next item is bad debts. This will be in the profit and loss, debit side, as to bad debts, rupees 400. In the inner column, since there is a star mark against it, and we leave a line after it, writing plus in it. The next item is discount allowed, rupees 700. It is an expense, hence will go to profit and loss debit side, as to discount allowed, rupees 700 in the outer column. Now let's read the credit side of the trial balance. The first item is capital, rupees 40,000. It goes on the balance sheet, liability side. This is the first item on the liability side. We will write it as capital, rupees 40,000 in the inner column, since there is a star mark against it. The next item is sales, rupees 1,25,000. It goes to the credit side of trading account as by sales, Rupees 1,25,000 in the inner column since there is a star mark against it. Also, we write Rupees 1,24,000 in the outer column after deducting the returns. The next item is Purchase Return, Rupees 2,000. It is deducted from purchases as less Purchase Return, Rupees 2,000 in brackets in the inner column and we write rupees 73,000 in the outer column. The next item is bills payable rupees 5,700, which is a liability, and will be written as bills payable rupees 5,700 in the outer column. The next item is commission rupees 1,000, which is an income, which will go to profit and loss account as by commission rupees 1,000 in the outer column. The next item is discount received rupees 1,200, which is an income, which will go to profit and loss account as buy discount received rupees 1,200 in the outer column. The next item is interest rupees 400, which is an income, which will go to profit and loss account by interest rupees 400 in the inner column as there is star mark next to it. Also leave a line below it with plus written in it. The next item is sundry creditors rupees 14,000 which is a liability. It will be written as sundry creditors rupees 14,000 in the outer column. 